Now the finish on this should be nice and glossy. So this is the before and then this is the after. If you're looking for a really awesome waterproof paint for concrete, pavers or brick, whether it's outside or inside, this is definitely something you want to consider. I think I'm in love. Heck yeah, that's gonna look so good. This is a Zinsser watertight paint. And we're gonna paint all the gray slabs here white for a nice crisp finish. And I hope that, you know, this is just gonna look nice and clean. Mold, mildew proof, waterproofing paint for interior, exterior, concrete, and masonry. Pretty much for everything. Concrete, stucco, brick, cinder block, basement walls, and concrete slabs prior to flooring. I've been looking for different types of paints, but this is the one that I kind of settled on. But we are going to do a tester first, just to make sure. The viscosity of the paint is pretty decent, but definitely want to mix it up before you start applying. So we're going to test it on this paper, and we're going to test it on the stucco slash parging. Just wait for the paint to drip a little, and let's see how well. Now, but mind you, this is also on top of dirt. Wow, that is definitely vibrant. I think I'm in love. Heck yeah, that's gonna look so good. Preparation is obviously 80%, so make sure you tape it. You don't wanna ruin all that extra work that you've done before. So we're just gonna go start painting this way. We're gonna go a little slower. We have a paint gun, but I wanna go and just use this roller slowly. It's about 26 degrees right now, so this will dry quite quickly. No mistakes. So again, just be careful. Be, be, be careful. And we're gonna look and see it's dripping already. You see how it's dripping? So let's try going this way instead. There we go. So I think two coats, I mean, even one coat should be good, but two coats is really gonna make this pop. And we're just using a standard roller. Now the finish on this should be nice and glossy. So definitely foresee having to repaint this maybe once every three years or so, just for aesthetic reasons, not for anything else. So it came out pretty good. I'm actually getting some pretty good uh, Mexico vibes here. Um, so let's continue on. And we're gonna finish off the bottom with a paintbrush. Finish off on here. Here's where we're at. It looks just like our Photoshop. Actually even better. Again, definitely Caribbean, Mexico vibes. So I think what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna paint the uh, the stairs white as well uh, so that way the only contrast is the fire pit itself and that um, tiled wall and then everything else is, should fall into place quite nicely we used about two-thirds of the can on i'll show you how much so we got this whole thing done here we started on this side and we painted this and we did about two layers in total. If you're looking for a really awesome waterproof paint for concrete, pavers, or brick, whether it's outside or inside, this is definitely something you want to consider. The color is super crisp, super sharp. So we have uh, another one third. That'll be enough to essentially do the inside of the wall and probably do those stairs. And then we're gonna have to get one more can for this and then that side. So it's really coming down and we painted this about four hours ago. So let's see how easily dirt comes off of this quite easily from what I can gather. Let's get some water and it should just wash off. So we're going to test that later. Super happy, super thrilled. You can't go wrong with this.